Hi, I'm Rich Fidlow from RF Contracting, and today we're going to talk about the comparison between dry wells and outdoor sump pumps and which one is right for you. Now, you may know that a dry well, it's nothing more than a hole in the ground, it's lined with filter fabric, it's filled with clean gravel, and as it fills up, the water will disperse into the surrounding soil. That's the idea behind it. But the, the pros, let's take a look at the benefits, the pros to the dry well. The first big pro is that uh, there is no electric hookup needed. You may not want to run an electric cable or have an electrician come and install an, an outdoor outlet uh, as you would uh, if you were installing a, an outdoor sump pump. It's got variable capacity, which is great. You can build it as large as you like. You can build it 500 gallons, 1,000 gallons, 5,000, 10,000 gallons, Whatever the situation calls for, you can just build it bigger and, and it, will, it will work. They are effective. Um, I, like I said before, with variable capacity, you know, it's, it's going to work. The one thing that I should mention, though, is if you go to like a um, Home Depot or Lowe's, they'll sell you these little containers. They're the size of a garbage can. Very small capacity. You know, maybe they'll hold 50 gallons. And uh, in most cases, it's, it's a waste of money to do that. Uh, if you're going to install a dry well, put one in that's big, that's actually going to do something. Now, uh, you can connect your drainage system directly into the dry well. And in some cases, if you have the elevation to work with, you can install an overflow line. Now, the cons. You've got limited capacity. Once your dry well is full, that's it. You have to wait for the surrounding soil to dry up before it can absorb more water. And it, the functionality does depend on the water table. Certain areas are going to have a higher water table than others. That's also going to depend on how much rainfall you get. If you have, for example, you know, a foot of snow, the ground is frozen, then all of a sudden the temperatures warm up and it starts raining, you know, everything's going to melt on the surface, but beneath it's still going to be frozen and saturated that dry well is not going to be very effective in cases like that. But as a general rule, they do work very well with those exceptions, uh, exceptions that I had mentioned. Now, let's take a look at your outdoor sump pumps. Here's the game changer, the biggest pro. The sump pump, outdoor sump pump, it's going to uh, pump water regardless of saturation. It's going to pump water continuously. And typically, your pumps, they'll start out at 3,000 gallons per hour and go up to 5,000, 10,000. You can put as big of a pump. You can put two pumps in there. Whatever the application calls for, it'll work beautifully. Uh, you can connect your drainage directly into the um, catch basin. As you may have seen in my previous video, we install a concrete catch basin rather than a uh, sump pump, plastic sump pump pit, which is typically used for indoor applications. Uh, and it works great. Uh, now the cons here. You need electric hookup. Okay. Your electrician, that's a separate expense. You have to run a conduit with an electric wire if you're going to do it right. Uh, and your you know, outdoor outlet to wire up your pump. It does require maintenance. Periodically, you're going to have to lift off that iron grate clean out all the sediment, make sure that there's no debris clogging up the bottom of the pump to make sure it's working properly. Also, you need to shut your sump pump off during the winter time. If it's frozen out, the line's frozen, keep your switch, your, your pump, your electric turned off. You don't want to you know, have it you know, kick on and burn out the pump prematurely. Now there's one note that I should mention some towns do require a dry well, um, and this is for cases where if you put an addition on your house, the impervious surface area uh, cannot exceed the square footage of your property. If it does, uh, like I said, these municipalities will require you to install a dry well and then have an overflow line, line running off into the uh, stormwater drainage system. Just, just something to think about. But that's all for today, and we'll see you next time.